All right, you guys. So it uh, looks like everyone is already in their easy seat. I'm going to get myself into my easy seat as well. So thinking about rounding down through your sit bones, sitting up really, really tall. Your hands can just rest wherever is comfortable. So they can be on your knees. They can be to your side. They can be palms up. They can be palms down. I want you to close your eyes for just a minute to settle into your breath. Draw your shoulders down your back. Lengthen your spine. Lift from the crown of your head. Just settle in and start to become aware of your breath here. So inhales through the nose, exhale out through the mouth, being more mindful and intentional about taking breath from your nose all the way down to your belly. Exhale slow. Go ahead and channel your yoga breath which you guys are probably pretty familiar with at this point. So inhale through the nose, slight restriction in the back of your throat, exhale through your nose. We all sound like Darth Vader, it's okay. Keep those shoulders relaxed. On your next inhale, you're gonna take your right arm up above the shoulder. You can open your eyes, and as you exhale, take that right hand to the outside of your left knee. Take the left hand right back behind your spine, lengthen from the crown of your head. Exhale and twist over your left shoulder. So you're lengthening on the inhale. As you exhale, twist a little bit more. Think about tucking that belly button into your spine, so core is engaged, lengthening from the crown of your head, one more inhale, maybe one more exhale, and then unwind back through the middle, inhale, left arm high, exhale, twist to the right side, right arm right back behind the low back, inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head, exhale, twist a little bit over that right shoulder, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, twist. One more time. And back in through the middle. So now I want you to switch your feet. So you're gonna take, if your right leg's on top, I want you to take your left leg on top. You're gonna plant your right palm right next to your side. Inhale, up and over, reaching side body stretch to the right. If you have the space, you can take it down to your forearm and then reach, or maybe you're up on your hand, but I want you to lift up and out and try not to dump just completely into the side. So whatever variation feels good for you here, inhale back through the center, switch to the opposite side, big reach up and over, draw your shoulders away from your ears, use your core to lift up and out, Back in through the middle, unwind those legs, and we're gonna find a tabletop position. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Make sure that your feet are flat on the floor, back is nice and flat. Press the ground away with your hands, belly buttons in. We're gonna inhale, pat pose, eyes up to the ceiling, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale for, sorry, that was cow. We're going cat now around your spine. Inhale, cow, belly to the floor, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, cat pose. You can start to move with your own breath. Maybe this is like little barrel rolls. Maybe this is some lateral movement side to side. If your wrists are a little bit sore or tender, need a little bit of stretch out, you can always rotate on the hands. Maybe shift body weight away from the wrist, kind of shaking those out a little bit. Take whatever you need here. You have three cycles of breath to do what you need to do for your body to feel good. And then we're gonna meet in that uh, neutral tabletop position. One more inhale. One more exhale. Inhale, tuck your toes under. And then exhale, press back into downward facing dog. So shift your hips up high. Press your chest in a little bit closer towards your legs. Bend one knee and then the other knee. Maybe you shift your hips side to side here, working to try to get that chest just a little bit closer to your legs. Finding that neutral downward facing dog position here. 
Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, travel forward. Feet at hip width distance apart, ragdoll pose. Shift your body weight forward into your toes. Grab your elbow, let your head be heavy, and then rock side to side. Let your neck be heavy. Shake your head yes and no. Let your fingertips trickle down to the floor. Toe heel your feet to touch. Small slippers space right in between your heels. Inhale, reset your spine with a halfway lift. So press palms into the shins, lengthen through the crown of your head, belly buttons tucked up and in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose all the way up. Ground down through the four corners of your feet. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Tuck your hips under. Belly buttons engaged. Exhale, forward fold, all the way through the middle. Back to that halfway lift, press into your shins. Exhale, plant your palms, high plank. We're here for eight, so you're just holding. Think about all those checkpoints of a plank. Squeeze your glutes, engage your core, turn your quads on. We have four. Shift your body weight slightly forward. Three, two, and downward facing dog. Hips up high, push your chest towards your quads, draw your heels a little bit closer to the mat. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, travel forward. We're gonna have some small changes as you work through, so listen here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Mountain pose, ground down through your feet. Exhale, baby back bend. Cactus out your arms, lift from your chest, eyes up to the ceiling. Inhale, back through the center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Step it back, high plank. We're gonna lower halfway down in three, two, and hold for four, three, two. Press back up, high plank. Shifting back, downward facing dog. All right, we have two more rounds here. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Arms up overhead, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, mountain. Change here. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. So bump those hips up over to the right. Lift up and out of the left side body over to the right side. Inhale back through the center. Lift up and out. Big reach. Bump those hips over to the left. Keep that chest towards the center of the room. Eyes looking straight forward. Inhale back to mountain. Exhale forward fold. Reset your spine. Halfway lift. Exhale plant your palms. Step it back. Chaturanga, so inhale forward, lower halfway down. This can always be taken from your knees if you need to. Inhale, upward facing dog. So make sure that your knees are not on the floor if you're strong and straight, uh, back behind you. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, last one here, all the way through. One breath, one movement. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Exhale, baby back bend, eyes to the ceiling. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, center, side body stretch to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Your variation can be from your toes or from your knees. Lower halfway down, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, you guys, bend your knees. You can lower down to your knees for just a second if you need to. We're gonna get ready to go into our sun B. So this one, we are revisiting some of the stuff that we've done before. So hopefully it looks a little bit familiar. If it doesn't, that's okay. I'm gonna walk you through all of it. Again, we'll go through our slow set first and then we'll make it a little bit quicker 
um, just one breath, one movement, all right? So we're gonna meet back in downward facing dog. Hands just underneath your shoulders, hips up high, push your chest towards your legs. Take one big breath all together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Make sure that your hips are square to the mat and to each other. Exhale, knee to chest. Draw forward, right in between your hands. Knee up, draw it in. We're here for three. Bring that knee a little bit closer to your chest. Two, and inhale. Take it back up nice and high. As you exhale, low lunge forward. Foot between your hands. Ground down through that front foot. Strong and straight in your back leg. Draw your shoulders down your back. Core is engaged. Strong back leg. Inhale, cow lunge. So with this one, palms come forward. Let that back knee slightly dip towards the floor. Chest is up, shoulders back. And then we're doing cat lunge. So as you exhale, plant your palms, shift your weight back, lift the toes on that front foot, shift your bottom weight back towards the left heel. So you're pushing that weight back, round your spine, tuck your chin in. Inhale, back to cow. So draw your shoulders back, chest is up. Exhale, cat lunge, plant your palms, Step it back. This is great for stretching out glutes, hamstrings. Keep those hips square to each other. Inhale, cow lunge. Draw your shoulders back. Exhale, cat lunge. Last one. Inhale, shift forward. Back to low lunge. Exhale, step your left leg forward. Forward fold. Hinging over from the waist. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're going single leg mountain, left leg lifts up high, all the way up to the top. Ground down through your right foot. Core is tucked in and tight, hips are tucked under, left knee, even with the hip. Flex that left foot, arms up overhead, draw your shoulders away from your ears, belly button in. Exhale, low flying airplane lunge. So you're stepping that left foot back behind. For a strong and straight through that back leg, arms are long, you're one line from the crown of your head all the way to the heel of your foot, press your triceps together. Head looking straight down, draw, belly button in, we're here for three, going to crescent lunge, arms up overhead in two, and arms up right here. So that back leg, you're still on your heel. Leg is still strong and straight. Can you lean a little bit more into that front knee? Arms up, draw your shoulders down your back. Exhale, hover lunge. So bend that back knee one inch up off the floor. Draw your shoulders down your back, belly buttons in. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Extend those arms back overhead. And exhale, open arm twist to your right leg. So big reach, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Your right hand can come to your lower back, stretching that left arm long, looking over that back shoulder. Make sure your right knee is right over your right ankle. We're here for three. Warrior two, open it up. And one, so warrior two. Right knee still over your right ankle. Strong arms looking over that right hand. Draw your shoulders down your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Turn your triceps on. Can you get a little bit lower? We're into a big transition here. Skin dotsana to the back of your mat. So straighten out that front leg. Come in low to the back of your mat space. Long, flex your feet back towards your uh, face on that right leg. You can plant your left hand and open up to the right. You can also just stay here, draw your shoulders down your back. Feel that good stretch here on that inner thigh on your right leg. Here for two breaths. Whoop. And you can fall over like me, keeping your chest up. We're gonna crawl forward, in front of your mat space, low lunge right here. Plant your palms and exhale, chaturanga. Step it back, shift your body weight forward, your variation. Chaturanga, little challenge, hover one foot up off the floor. 
exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna do this on the left side. So inhale, left leg high. Square your hips, draw that right hip down towards the floor. Exhale, knee to chest. Draw it up and in, round that upper spine. Draw your knee a little closer to the chest. We're here for three, two, and lift that left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, take it forward, left foot between your hands. Ground down, get that strong straight back leg. Inhale, cow lunge. So slight bend in that back knee, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, cat lunge. Plant your palms, round your spine, flex your feet back towards your face. Try to tuck your chin in and round that upper back. Inhale, cow lunge, come forward. Exhale, cat lunge. Inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, cat, last one. All right, walk those hands forward, lower down, low lunge, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, right leg comes up, single leg mountain. Drawing down through that left leg, right leg, Strong and straight, or your right leg is bent, I should say. Flexing your foot back towards your face, draw your shoulders down your back, grounding down. We're gonna step back, airplane lunge. So step back behind, take those palms facing the floor, draw them back behind you. Inhale from, or from the crown of your head to one line to the heel of your foot. Make sure that left knee is directly over your ankle. Inhale, crescent lunge, arms up, overhead. Keep that strong and straight back leg. Get that heel up nice and high on your back foot. Exhale, hover lunge, drop it down. Draw your shoulders back. Keep your chest up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. You can take that back hand on that back hip. Draw your right arm forward, looking over that back shoulder. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Open it up, big reach, coming forward, bend in that front knee, draw your shoulders down your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, turn your arms on. Imagine that I was pushing up underneath your hands, engage through the arms. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat space. Drop it down into the heel. Lengthen that left leg long. You can open it up on one side, add the twist in, or stay here. Hand is just at heart center. Draw your shoulders down your back. We're here for three. Stay for the inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale. And travel forward to the top of your mat space. And chaturanga, stepping it back. Shift your bottom weight forward, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, you guys, we have one more round. We're going one breath, one movement. This time through, both sides, and then we're gonna move into our strength and conditioning. So, getting ready here, back into our downward facing dog. Hips are gonna come up high. Press your chest closer to your thighs. One cleansing breath all together. Inhale, exhale out your mouth. Seal your lips, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to chest, draw it up and in. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge right in between your hands. Inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, cat lunge. Round your spine. Inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, cat lunge. Last time. Inhale forward. Exhale, cat. Settle in, low lunge in the front of your space. Exhale, forward fold. Step it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, forward fold. Single leg knot, left leg high. Draw it up, draw your shoulders down your back. Exhale, airplane lunge. Step it back behind. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hover lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Open arm twist to the right. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your space. Inhale, crawl forward, low lunge. Exhale, chaturanga, shift your body weight forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge forward. Inhale, cow lunge. Exhale, cat lunge. Inhale, cow. Draw your shoulders back. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Inhale, cow, last time through. Exhale, cat. Coming forward, low lunge. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, single leg knot, right leg up. Exhale, airplane lunge. Draw your shoulders back. Inhale, crescent lunge, high on that back heel. Exhale, hover lunge, one inch up off the floor. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, warrior two, open it up. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat space. Inhale, crawl forward, low lunge. Exhale, last chaturanga, your variation. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lower down to your knees. Maybe push back into child pose for just a second. And we made it, you guys. Whew. Hopefully we're feeling all nice and toasty, warmed up, body's feeling good. Hopefully that is yes, yes, cool. Um, so we get to move on to our strength and conditioning part. More than welcome to put your shoes back on at this point, if that's gonna feel good for you. Um, while you're doing that and grabbing in any water, I'm gonna walk you through uh, the format of our workout today. So we're going to be doing um, within, I guess for every minute we're working, 40 seconds of a like moving strength exercise and then 20 seconds of an isolated hold. All right, so we're going to start with marching bridge and then go into an isolated hold. We do that 60 seconds or we'll do two minutes your first time through of the one exercise. Your second round is only going to be one minute of work and then we'll have a lightning round at the end little bit more metabolic, 30 seconds for everything that we're doing. So I'm gonna start you guys off showing you what our first pair of exercises will look like. In between each exercise combination, you are gonna get 30 seconds of rest. So I'll be showing you what your next exercise combination is going to be. So we're gonna start on the floor, on your back for a marching bridge, all right? So with this one, you're gonna scoot your booty close to your heels, Hips are gonna come up high, and we're gonna start by holding here. I want you to think about keeping those hips up really high, and then we're gonna start to march. One foot up off the ground, keep hips up high, and then the other foot. So the big challenge here is that the hips are gonna wanna drop as you take one foot up off the floor. So use that right leg or the left leg to stabilize. We're gonna be here for 40 seconds. Then we're gonna just hold, isolated hold at the top. We're gonna go through that twice before you get a 30 second recovery, all right? So uh, everyone gets into position. If we're ready to rock and roll, we're gonna start with that marching bridge. 
I am got my timer going here. Checking everyone out. Here we go. We're going to start in three, two, hips up high. Here we go. Marching bridge. Stabilize through the leg that's actually on the floor. Nice job. Those are looking good, you guys. It's not necessarily about how fast you're going with this movement. It's about how little movement you can have in those hips as you're lifting that foot up off the floor. We have 10 seconds, and then you're just gonna go into a bridge. So that bridge, we're gonna keep hips up high in three, two, and bridge up as high as you can. Weight into the heels of your feet. So lift your toes up off the floor. Big squeeze through your glutes. We got 10 seconds right here. Can you hold just a little bit higher? We're gonna go right, right back into your march in three, two, and bridge march. Here we go. Alternating it out, hips up high. So remember, this is our longest set. We're doing two minutes here. Our next time through when we do these, it's gonna get a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter. Awesome job. If you need to take a little break and come down, that is totally fine. Just checking out everyone's form here. We're looking good. All right, we have right here 15 seconds and then we're gonna go back to that hold. Three, two, and ISO hold at the top. Bridge up, hips up high, big squeeze through your glutes. Five seconds, lift one more inch. Weight to the heels, lift your toes. Three, two, and all right. We have 30 seconds of break, you guys. Eyes on me here, we're going right into push-ups, so variation of push-ups, elbows in, close, all right? We're doing tricep push-ups today, elbows in, core is engaged. You can do this from your toes or from your knees, keeping those hips up. Ideally, we don't want sad push-ups looking like this with your hips as the first thing to touch. You want your hips up high. Then we're gonna lower halfway down and hold for that 20 seconds. Again, you can always take it to your knees. We're gonna start right here in three, Two and push ups here. Elbows in close to the body. You can be from your knees or from your toes. Strong glutes, squeeze your glutes, keeping that belly button in. Doesn't matter if you actually touch all the way down to the floor. The goal is just to keep those elbows in close. So if that means you're doing half repetitions, just partially down. That is perfect. We're gonna hold halfway down in three, two, and hold right here. Elbows in, even if it's just one inch lower, think about what's going on in your core. Puff up the space right in between your shoulder blades, just like we do a plank, we got five. Shake out your arms, push back into child's pose for just a second, three, two, and shake out those arms. We're jumping right back into it. Push-ups in three, Two, and here we go. So elbows in. At any point, this is your time to work, right? So if you need to take a little bit of recovery time, that is totally fine. Listen to your body, take what you need. We have five seconds, and then we're going back into your hold in three, Two, and last hold right here, lower down, halfway. Elbows in close to the body, core's engaged, belly button's in. We have 10 seconds and then we get to take it to your feet. Three, two, and that's it right there. Maybe push it up and back, shake it out. We're going right into lunges, all right? So we are gonna stay on one side for one minute and then switch to the other side. So we're here, you're going to do a reverse lunge into a step, like step up. So here, reverse lunge, draw that knee up and in. We're here for uh, 40 seconds. Then we're gonna do an isolated hold, hips tucked under, core's in tight for 20 seconds. Then we'll switch to the other leg. We're going in three, 
Start on your right leg in two. Here we go. So stepping back with that right leg, back behind, draw that knee up and into the chest. Step back, control it on the way back. Perfect. Roxanne and Tina look amazing. Kat, I know you look great. I wish I could see you, but I'm sure you're rocking it out. All right, we got five seconds right here. We're gonna go into that isolated hold. Finish your rep, three, two, and right leg back, chest is up. Draw your shoulders back. We're hovering just one inch up off the floor. We're here for 20 seconds. Think about your left knee directly over your ankle. Draw your shoulders back. Tuck your belly button in. We have less than 10 seconds right here. Can you lower one inch closer to the floor? We're here for three, two, directly into your left leg. So right leg forward, left leg back, step it behind. Draw that knee up and into the chest. Slow and controlled on the way back, taking it up. We have 40 seconds here. All right, getting ready for your isolated hold in less than five seconds, finish the rep you're on. We're stepping it back right here and lowering down. So belly button in again. So tuck pelvis towards your rib cage. Draw it down, shoulders back, chest is up really tall. We're here for 10 seconds. Three, two, and all right, shaking it out. So coming up next, we have mountain climbers slow. All right, so it's gonna be up for one, two, knee to elbow. Take it back. One, two, knee to elbow. 40 seconds, then we flip over. Hollow hold for 20 seconds. Arms right next to your ears. Belly button or low back glued into the floor, legs long. All right, we're going again. In three, two, and mountain climbers here. Hands underneath your shoulders. Hold that knee up towards your elbow for two to three seconds. So you're really working those obliques. So core's engaged, draw it up into the outside. If it doesn't feel good to come out on those hips, you can always draw it underneath the body and still hold. So we're here, one, two, just like we did in our flow today. So. One, two, knee to chest. 10 seconds, and we flip over onto your back for that hollow hold. Three, two, and on the back. Glue that low back into the floor, arms right next to your ears, legs lowered as long as you can keep that low back glued into the floor. So for as long as you can keep that low back glued into the floor. Flex your feet back towards your face. Can you lower one inch? We got three, two, and back to your slow planks or slow mountain climbers here. Little pause at the top of every one. One, two. Think one, two. Let me up and in. Weight shifted slightly forward. We have less than 10 seconds here. Give me maybe one more on each side. One, two. Back through the middle. One, two. And flip over right here. Hollow hold. Arms right next to your ears. Low back glued into the floor. Can you drop your feet just one inch lower this time? Only 20 seconds, but glue that lower back into the floor. We have five, four, three, two, and all right, a little bit of rest. So we have our full on break here before we start back at the top. 
This time, every section, we're only going through for 60 seconds each. All right, so we have that marching bridge to start with your isolated hold. One minute, 30 second rest, or 15 second rest, sorry, your rest gets a little shorter, right into the push-ups and so on. So this one will go a little bit quicker. You're gonna have a full, another about 60 seconds of recovery time here, so grab some water if you need it. How's everybody feeling? Are you feeling good? Thumbs up out there, yeah? Cool, I like it, I like it. All right, so we have one more round just like this. Our last round is going to be a quick 30 second lightning round and it's going to be only the active movements that we've been doing so it'll be just a little bit different. So we got a little bit more work obviously still coming up but we're getting ready to start this round in just about 10 seconds. So we have marching bridge on the floor first with that isolated hold starting in three, two, and hips up high, marching bridge. Try not to shift those hips side to side as you march. Use your stabilizing leg to keep those glutes high using that low back, glute, hamstring, all that posterior chain. Keep those hips up right here, alternating it out. Great news is you only have to do this for one minute this time through. 10 seconds and we go into that hold at the top. And keep those hips up high, hold, 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 right here. Weight into the heels of your feet. So you're lifting those toes up off the floor. We got five seconds and then we're gonna get ready to go push-ups, three, Two, and you have a quick transition right here into push-ups. We're starting in 15 seconds. So elbows are gonna be in close to the body for your push-ups. You could be from your knees or toes. We're starting in three, two, and here we go. Elbows in, core is engaged, taking it up. Maybe you try to slow these down just a tiny bit if you can. I know this is a lot of work, but we're only here for one minute, right? So we're not doing this for the two solid minutes this time. Squeeze your glute. Don't let the hips be the first thing to touch. Elbows stay in, push it away. We have 10 seconds before we're gonna hold. Halfway down. And three, two, hold right here. We have 20 seconds of work, elbows in. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your hips under. 10 seconds right here, elbows in. Five, four, three, two, and lower down. Maybe push it back. Child pose if you need to stretch it out. We got lunges next. Now these guys, we are still doing each leg, because I'm not only gonna make you do one leg. So we got 60 seconds on one leg, 60 seconds on the other. This is the only one that's two minutes long but technically not really two minutes. We're gonna start here, five seconds. We're stepping it back, keeping your chest up, driving it up right here. We got 40 seconds on the one side. Don't fall over like me, keep your chest up. Take it up here. Control it a lot as you step back behind. Lower slowly. All right, we got 10 seconds and then we're gonna hold at the bottom. So give me maybe two more solid reps all the way up, all the way down. We're holding in three, two, and step it back. Draw your shoulders back. Tuck your hips under, belly buttons in. Right knee directly over the ankle. That was halfway, we got 10 seconds. Can you lower just a slight bit closer to the floor? Five, getting ready just to switch your legs in three, two, and right into it. Step it back, draw that knee up. Step back, draw it up.
Perfect. All right, you're 20 seconds before we even get into that hold. So how slow can you step it back? Think about those shoelace lunges that Sam has us do sometimes on the way back. Slow, slow, control through that front leg. Slow, slow, step it back. And one more. And then when you get back there, we're staying. Hold right here, lower down, 20 seconds. Keeping that chest up, draw your shoulders back. Left knee over the left ankle. Can you lower just one inch? We got less than 10 seconds to hold. Three, two, and shake it out. 15 seconds of rest. Then we have our slow mountain climbers. Slow mountain climbers here coming up. Hands underneath your shoulders. Little pause in three, Two, and here we go. Little pause at the top of every one. One, two. Stepping it back. One, two. One, two. Alternating it out. Pump up that space right in between your shoulder blades. Belly buttons into the spine. All right, we are getting ready for our hollow hold in just five seconds. So give me maybe one more on each side. Slow movement, flip into your back in three, two, and hollow hold. 20 seconds, arms right next to your ears, low back glued into the floor. Can you drop your feet one inch lower than you did last time? Now, if this compromises your lower back, then keep your legs a little bit higher. Obviously, I want you to challenge yourself, but I don't want you to not be getting the benefit of the exercise. We have five, three, two, and all right, you guys, a little bit of rest. Shaking it out right here. Take what you need, get, get some water. All right. I'm gonna give you a little bit of instruction for our lightning round, all right? So our lightning round, there's just a few small changes. So we have our marching bridge, we've already done that. We have our tricep push-ups. we've already done those. But instead of our single leg lunge, we're gonna do alternating jumping lunges or reverse lunges. So we have either the alternating jump, so keeping your chest up, switching it out at the top, alternating it out. If you're like, I'm not jumping today, no thank you, then let's go right into our reverse lunge, making it a little bit faster. And then we're also going to do our mountain climbers faster. So hands underneath the shoulders, knee to elbow, make it a little bit quicker. So with this one, we're going two short rounds of 30 seconds. So we go marching bridge, push up all the way through, one round, no rest, 30 seconds for each exercise. Then we will rest completely, do that two times through, and then we get to cool it down. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna start here all together in just about 15 seconds with your marching bridge. So we're on the floor, flipping over, try to make this one a little bit faster now that you've gotten kind of used to the feeling of that exercise. We're gonna go all together right here. Three, two, this is 30 seconds of work. It's gonna go right into the push-ups for 30 seconds of work and so on and so forth for all four exercises. Hips stay up high, so we're moving fast, but your hips stay up. You are halfway right here. 10 seconds and then we go right into our tricep push-up. So you're just gonna flip over in three, two, and tricep push up. So elbows stay in close to the body. Whether you're on your knees or your toes. Getting as many reps in in 30 seconds as you can with good form, of course. So squeeze the glutes, those look great. 
All right, we got less than 10 seconds and we're up on the feet for either jumping or alternating reverse lunges in three, two, and here we go. So we got the alternating reverse lunge, making it quick, or if you feel comfortable, adding in the jump, adding in the jump. You're here for 30 seconds. Less than 10 seconds. And then we go mountain climbers to your hands in three, two, and on the hands. Remember, this is a little faster. We were going slow, control during our sets today, but I want you to speed this up. We are halfway right here. You have 15 seconds and then we get a small rest before we start back up the top. Five, four, three, two, and all right, little break. This is quick. We start back over with our marching bridge. So grab a quick sip of water if you need it. 15 seconds and we're going back in. This is your last two minutes of active work and then we just get to cool it down. So we're gonna start in five on your back, three, two, and here we go, marching bridge. Hips up high, don't compromise those hips being high, using your glutes for work for speed. Last 10 seconds right here. We go right into our push-ups in three, two, and flip it over for your push-ups, elbows in. Last set of these push-ups for the day. Halfway right here, we got 15 seconds. Can you maybe double the number of push-ups that you've done so far? We come up to the feet in for alternating jumping lunges in three, two, and jump lunge or reverse lunge. So you can always step it back, keep the chest up tall, or add in that jump. Last 10 seconds and then our final 30 of mountain climbers in three, two, and taking it to your hands. Mountain climbers here. All right, final 10 seconds. We got three. I'm gonna ask one more minute of you to flip over onto your back, hollow hold for 60 seconds with me. Arms right next to your ears, low back moved into the floor, belly buttons in. You can rest your head on the floor or it can hover up off the floor, but arms stay strong, low back stay glued into the floor. Try to drop those feet one inch lower. You can always take your legs to 90 degrees if this is a little bit too much with your legs straight or you can bring them up over your hips a little bit more rather than having them long and extended away from the body. You have 30 seconds left, can you drop just one inch? Keep those feet flexed back towards your face, belly buttons glued in, low back tucked into the floor. We have 15 seconds right here, drop one more inch. Arms here. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, and grab your knees. Maybe rock side to side on that low back. Maybe make some small circles with your knees around a couple times. And then we're gonna take one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly, soles of your feet together, let your knees flop open wide. 
Inhale through the nose. So much air that your belly rises up on that bottom hand. And then exhale out slow. If this feels a little uncomfortable on your lower back or on your hips, maybe just slide your feet forward a little bit so you can kind of settle in and get that low back closer if not touching the floor. Draw your shoulders down your back and into the floor. We're gonna hang here for another like 15 seconds. So try to make this maybe two to three super slow cycles of breath. Then take those arms up overhead, extend your legs long, flex your feet back towards your face. Try to tuck that low back into the floor. So if you feel like there's a lot of space for your hand to be underneath the back, kind of tuck everything down, reach your fingertips long. Big inhale, then draw your knees into the chest. Maybe rock side to side again, and then tee up your arms. We're just gonna make a T shape with the arms, drop your knees over to the left side. You can also straighten out your right leg on top if you want a little bit of extra. You're looking over your right shoulder here. Inhale back through the center. And then take it all the way over to the right side. So maybe straighten out your left leg. If you did that on the other side, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, back in through the center. Grab your knees, rock and roll on your spine just a couple times. And then take those legs out long in front of you. Shift your body weight so that you're directly, so your hips are underneath you, maybe adjust a little bit of that good stuff. Ankles, toes together, reaching down towards the toes, but lift up tall from your spine so you're not just completely rounded over right now, trying to make it active. If you need to bend your knees a little bit so you have a little bit more space to reach down towards the toes, and then you can try to work to straighten out your legs a little bit, but lift tall and then reach. That might limit how far you go down, that's totally fine, doesn't doesn't matter really about how far you reach, is are you getting that stretch through that back side of the body or not, all right? So we're here for one more full cycle of breath. Big inhale, exhale, shake out your legs. You're gonna walk your feet just underneath your hips. From the bottom, press through your heels and then hang over your legs. So maybe shift your body weight more into your toes as you hang over. You can grab your elbows, rock side to side, let your head be heavy. Maybe you just want your hands to like hang down towards the floor and relax everything. Let gravity take over. When you're ready, you're gonna roll all the way up, head, neck, and shoulders. will be the last thing to come up. Just roll your shoulders back just a couple of times. Shake out that upper body a little bit. We're just gonna do one chest opener. Uh, shoulders since we did quite a few push-ups today. So you can either grab your hands back behind you if that's accessible to you. So it kind of looks like this. And then you can even hinge over if you want a little bit of extra there. If that doesn't feel good, you can always go just a little cactus up the arms like we did through our flow today. Chest is up and slightly tilt the elbows forward. Let gravity again, pull the shoulders down. So try not to shrug everything and then just lift towards the ceiling. Try not to dump into the low back. Keep that chest up, chest open. So whatever variation feels good. And then shake it out, couple shoulder shrugs, big up and around, draw down and back, big up and around, draw back. And we made it, you guys. Happy Sunday. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you are all feeling like amazing.